This video is brought to you by True Tech Tools, quality tools, essential support. And by RLS. RLS press fittings let you make a permanent and reliable mechanical connection in just 10 seconds without the need for brazing. The RLS press fittings were specifically designed and engineered for use in high pressure HVAC and refrigeration systems. They are fully registered and listed to UL207 for pressures up to 700 PSI. For more information, go to rapidlockingsystem.com. Today I'm back at the Murfreesboro project. I'm gonna be hooking everything up on the air handler up in the attic. So I've got the refrigerant lines, the drain line, the low volt, the high volt, all the safeties. Basically get that unit completely hooked up to where we can move on with this project. Let's do some work. All right, so this is what we're working with today. Got a three and a half ton train air handler. So everything comes from over there. We got the, the line set here, the drain lines down there. So that'll just come straight across. The line set, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bend from up there over and then down and go in. That way it keeps everything nice and clean and uh, accessible on the front. Just need to put a couple safeties, one in the pan, one in the coil itself for the drain. Uh, hook up all the low volt wiring here. And then the high voltage is gonna come out of this box here. So I'll run that straight across, probably come up and then straight down. So it's nice and clean. But yeah, that's the task for today. All right, so it looks like what I'm gonna have to do is take this coil out so I can remove this horizontal drain pan and get it put on the bottom. Basically convert it for a horizontal right application because it comes from the factory horizontal left or upflow. So uh, yeah, just need to get this taken out, swapped over before I can really do anything else. <laughs> Looks like I gotta take out this clip and these two plugs and put them on the other side. That way it's in the, in the proper orientation. All right, now I can go ahead and get this coil put back in. Get these clips put back in. There we go. Now we are converted, so we're good to go. Go ahead and get, start getting these prepped. So the first thing you wanna do when you're pressing any kind of fittings on is you have to prep everything. So. You wanna get your depth gauge out and your marker and wanna make sure that you have the proper depth to be able to cut this bell off to be able to put your fitting on. So um, what I'm gonna do, actually I'm gonna use, I'm just gonna use couplings and then bend my 90s wherever with my, with my bender.
That's crazy how fast that is. That looks good. All right, so I got the line set complete up here. I'm not gonna put the dryer up here. I'm gonna put it outside. I'm a fan of putting them outside so that way if you ever have any do repairs, that's where you're gonna be typically, right? When you're working on the refrigeration side. So you can swap out the dryer when you're out there. So, um, you know, I'm not in a very, you know, salty coastal climate, so it's never a problem anyway when it comes to putting the dryers outside. And heck, a lot of uh, manufacturers put their dryers in the condensers from the factory anyway, so it's not really a big deal. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and get the drain line hooked up now so I can get the power hooked up and we should be good to go for today. So right now I don't have these glued because I think what I'm going to do is end up putting unions or at least one union here to where um, I like to be able to remove these. So if you need to take this panel off, you can do that. So for right now, I'm just going to have it, these not glued and figure out what I'm going to do from there. But, but at least now I've got both my safeties in and my trap is installed so now I can just extend it out and get it connected. So I want to put a breather on this drain line but I don't want to do it here because it'll be right in front of the blower so I'm just going to come out past the unit and then put a breather uh, right about here I'd say so let's go ahead and measure this. On these breathers, all you really need to do is get above the internal drain pan just by a couple inches, you, so you don't have to go up crazy high. So I think what I'm gonna do is just put a, probably put a uh, an eight inch breather on it. That should do fine. And again, that's a breather, so you don't wanna cap that off. And you, you want to have the breather on the exiting side of your, your drain trap. So what that does is after it's being trapped, the, um, this will allow air so that way it'll drain properly all the way outside. It won't create, not necessarily a vacuum, but it just allows the water to breathe and drain out a lot easier if you didn't have one. So I like to put one and then uh, you always want to clean out on the trap as well so on these i don't glue these so you can easily remove that and you can hook your vacuum up and vacuum out that if you want to so um, you got to clean out and you got a breather so i don't have the proper materials to build the, the supports that i want to build for the drain line going all the way back so right now i just got some bricks to hold it in place i'm going to come back with some all thread some and some clamps and uh, some standoff brackets so that way i can secure it down to the floor all thread up with some straps, uh, some pipe clamps, and I'll be able to make them at different heights to support it every uh, two to three feet. We'll be in good shape. the heater kit for this system so I'm not going to wire up this line voltage I'm just going to cut it and put the uh, put the cover back on it for now till I can uh, come back with the heater kit <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
right, so now that all the wires are in here, I'm gonna wait to get everything wired up once I actually get the heater kit installed so I can wire up that as well. So that's gonna be pretty much it for today. I think everything's wrapped up. Uh, I just need to get, get everything cleaned up and call it a day. All right, so there's some storms rolling in about the next 30 minutes, so I've got to get packed up and get out of here. But I'm pretty happy with how everything turned out. I got everything that I wanted to get done today, so that's awesome. I hope you guys got something out of this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Till next time, see you guys later.